Welcome to Women in Sport. I'm Michelle Anderson. Today we meet football pioneer Sarah Hoskins and in studio, special guest Amanda Bulow tells us all about awesome women in the construction industry. Stay with us. The construction industry has long been the domain of men. Well, that's all changing as the industry welcomes women into the ranks. From on the tools to management roles, women are making their mark in construction. My guest is a champion for encouraging and supporting women in the industry, and she joins me now. Amanda Bulow, wonderful to have you here with us today. Thank you. Now, tell us, how many women are in the, in the construction industry at the moment? So, a report that was done in 2016 um, shows that there's 12% of women in the construction industry, but only 5% of those are full-time. Right, OK. So a lot of part-time roles are making up those numbers. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And what about yourself? How long have you been in the construction industry I've been for? in the construction industry for 19 years, um, so I've seen a lot of changes, but um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, an, it's a business that I enjoy. Now, you've started something called AWIC, Awesome Women in Construction. Tell us, why did you start that and what exactly is it about? So Awesome Women in Construction started with 14 um, industry colleagues going to breakfast one day. We'd been talking about catching up for a long time, separate to our roles, and just to, you know, see how everybody is, checking in, just expanding our friendship network. Um, after that... Um, it, AWIC was created. Um, we caught up for the next few months and each time we did, our numbers doubled in size. So Awesome Women in Construction was created. It's brilliant. So just send the word out throughout all of the different businesses. How It's, it's 18 months down the track now since you started. Yeah. How has it gone from, from the beginning through till now? What are the numbers like and what sort of events are you, are you holding? So when we started off with our 14 ladies for breakfast, um, we've now got over 350 members on our mailing list, which is fantastic. Brilliant, yeah. Um, and we have an average in um, this year of 61 people attending our monthly events. Yeah, great. And yeah. what sort of events are you hosting when you get when you get all the women in construction, the awesome the women awesome in women. construction yeah. together? So we have our monthly events and we vary them between um, where we might um, teach how to um, network because um, every even though we, we do it on a daily basis, there's always a nice way to get some hints and tips on how we can do it better. Um, we have guest speakers, and a lot of the time it's simply based around networking, so having that good half an hour before the event actually starts just to meet somebody in the room that we haven't met before. And what have the responses been like with, uh, with the women who come along to AWIC? I mean, obviously, I, I think it would be good being the minority in the construction industry at the moment it is, what are they saying to you, you know, on the back of coming to these uh, events? Yeah, look, a lot of them, they're all loving it. So they're all coming for very different reasons. Whether they're um, in the, a small business, they're coming and meeting new people. Whether they're coming to, um, and a lot of them are connecting on a personal basis as well and not just a professional level, which is fantastic. So mm. we all need someone who can help us through the days where we're not quite, um, you know, having the best day. Um, and it's great to have a support network there for that. Well, that's sounds unbelievably fantastic. I need you to stay here with me, Amanda. We're going to keep chatting. But right now, let's chat some more and check on football pioneer and AFLW great Sarah Hosking. <laughs> It's really going to change things for women's sport and just women, you know, in society. The growth is incredible and it's only going to get bigger. It represents more than sport. AFLW is a movement. For many years, netball has been the number one women's sport in Australia. But in 2017, something happened that could possibly change things forever. Welcome to the 2017 AFLW. The launch of the AFL Women's League has seen many female athletes leaving the netball circuit to join the new comp. Sarah Hosking is one of them. Netball probably took off when I was about um, 10. And I think football came along and there was an opportunity to actually take it somewhere. I'd go 
play a two hour football match. And then I'd run straight off to netball training for two hours. Having a national competition, that was probably where I decided, you know what, I'll give it a shot and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it, it, then I'll go back to netball. In the end, I ended up swapping.